Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. That they're perfectly okay with playing this champion that has been around for ages. Yeah, and look at that. We do have Clad as the last pick for Jin Air. Uh, we've seen that for Ixu, but also... It was, cleared. It was warded, so they chose to just start red, but if it's ah, going to okay. be a, just a level 2 gank bottom lane, they're looking for this, and flash on Braum is all it's going to take. Yep. There it is, the flash exhaust, and this is the easiest setup of all time. First blood to bang on Twitch. A nightmare situation for Jin Air. Tempt on a dive here from Faker, Ooh. actually. Ixu does not have Kled. Look at Ixu. Look at how low he is right now. This is all just from the Rumble pushing. They're going to dive underneath the turret. That should be an easy cleanup. Faker able to pick up the kill. Umti not here in time. And the teleport from Kuzan. They're trying to turn onto Umti now. In comes Kuzan with the flash. He will be able to burst down Untara. Not respecting that LeBlanc. Looks like the duo lane will be trying to deward a little more. Okay, trying to get this bear trap on a rope, forcing the equalizer out here. Untara trying to just run away, and Umti just slowed down too much, already down to half health. And no rotation here. They're going to get that leash once again onto Untara, who still does not have his flash. There is the dive, and Iksu will pick up the kill, hopping off Skarl. Oh boy, look at this big rotation up here from Guzan. Intara in a ton of trouble once again. The Equalizer comes down. Umti going in for that ult, and he will get taken out here by Blank with the Dragon's Rage. Baker trying his best to run away. Will burn his flash, but he's caught by the bear trap on the rope and goes down to Guzan at the end. Pass over a bunch of the wards in their red side. But look at this, trying to go on to Umti. There is the kick and the follow up by Faker, making that very easy. You never want to do the grain rooms. Has that Gunblade completed already in five stacks on the Dark Seal. So we could see that LeBlanc getting a little bit out of control. We have a engage here, actually. Both these men members of SKT getting locked down, but bang, able to pick up that kill. And this could be too. It's be occupied with hiding the objective that he never bothered to pull it out to make sure that he could strike it from the eye and make advantage of his damage oh reduction or Does increase. Wolf have this ultimate. It doesn't look like it right now. And we actually do have the double teleport from behind the charge in from Jin Air, but the Weaver's Wall making his way on in here is Baker, but not going to take it. Ixu actually taking down the Braum. In comes Equalizer. Doesn't really land here. Umti trying to get that ultimate off onto Bang. Bang is still alive. Finally goes down here to the Kled. So much action going down. Kuzan still alive and still a big threat. Utara trying to burn Teddy here. Blank on the chase. Will take him out with that red buff. And now it's Kuzan all alone, forced to jump the wall. And Baker's still on the chase and will take him out for the ace. Under 17 minute ace out of SKT. And it all started with them opening up, up on the dude. Disgusting. And all they have is now Iksu with the blind. But even Snowflower can't live here. Yeah, look at this. Baker from behind, too. These, uh, this lovers duo trying their best to at least get a kill. And wow, they actually do trade one for one somehow. 8,000 gold lead, 10,000. You can buy love with that one instead here. <laughs> Whoa, he's going to the tower. Yeah, Ixu trying to charge past. Untara giving up his life, just accepting it, getting all the creeps. Meanwhile, another dive up into the top lane. This should be, oh, a nice ultimate there from Wolf, just predicting where Kuzan was going to go. Totally styling on this guy. They have a, a good idea of it. It's so weird seeing Rek'Sai now. She no longer has a global power. Okay, Equalizer coming down, and this is what I was talking about. Bang, making his way in. Blade of the Rune King is popped. Ixu even flashes. Not sure about that one. Maybe a bit of desperation, but they do get the kill. In comes Faker now. Will not be knocked up. That Banshee's doing work. Forcing the TP out here from, it looks like, Kuzan. Meanwhile, a fight between Bang and Umti. Umti will be the victor of that one. Kuzan still going on to Wolf, will get that stun off. Knock up onto Kuzan, trying to jump on in, trying to avoid the damage. In comes Blank, will be knocked up and stunned once again. This might mean his death, and it will be. Teddy able to pick that one up. We do have a TP in from, it looks like, Untara. No equalizer, though. How are they going to do this? This is going to have to be the godlike steal. Trying to just poke down Kuzan right now. In comes the Flame Spitter. Trying to just knock down all the members of Jin Air. The Baron will go over to Jin Air at the end of it all, but already two members have gone down. For me. I 
need that Doran shield. 26 minutes in. Bang, jumping on in. Here comes the Weaver's Wall. Analyzer follow up, although both Teddy and Snowflower are able to run out of there. Teddy will get taken out in the end, as he was just a little bit too far up the lane against this Twitch. Against Blank, or maybe try to scout out Blank or Bank before they go for an engage. Well, here we go. Baron on the way. Do we see a TP in from Kuzan? Not yet. Looks like the TP from Ixu right now. SKT continuing on to this Baron. Umti is nearby. There's the TP from Kuzan. And in comes the charge. Will there be a steal? No. It looks like Rumple able to pick up the kill. There's going to be the E early kill onto Snowflower. And it looks like Jin Air, this engage is not going too well. Blank looking for that kill. Faker coming in from behind with the Weaver's Wall. Redemption going to heal up a bunch of members of SKT. The flash in for Blank getting Ixu who was cut off by that wall. By the time that Baron's already way too low, and while the engage and attempt to steal is nice, they try to focus the Twitch, but the peel is there. He does miss his charge in a pretty embarrassing fashion and then just gets kicked to the wall. Yeah, I mean, they, they get the flash out of Kuzan at least. He didn't seem too affected by that. Bang, he's going in. Meanwhile, Untara by himself being chunked down by this Rek'Sai. And actually, LeBlanc able to pick up that kill on the back of it, but... I mean, you can see just how far ahead SKT is at this point. They do get the big root onto Bang and Wolf, but again, it's Ixu against the world as he tries desperately, but will be taken out. They try to turn this, but he's not going to engage in a position where he's going to get caught out that easily. Braum's already there, and in the meantime, Muntar with the great distraction. This surely will be the end of the game with only <laughs> LeBlanc spawning at 25. Poor Untara, he's just been in a, a distraction the entire game on the Rumble. The equalizers were, eh, they were all right. Faker, meanwhile, taking out Umti and making things interesting. And Snowflower just styling a little bit on his Rakan. The lovers are going to be together at the end of this game, but SKT will be loving the fact that they take game number one at the end of it here. GG. So close there for it almost not ending there, but Tara teleports. He wants to be in the picture. Don't forget about me, guys. I, <laughs> I participated. I was part of this game. I drew so much pressure, top guys. What are you doing with my? <laughs> what are you doing? What's